In the azure expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, a pioneering endeavor is taking shape. The Vineyard Wind Project is an ambitious vision that's propelling Massachusetts towards a cleaner and more sustainable future. Nestled 15 miles south of Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket, once completed, the Vineyard Wind Project will stand as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of nature. But before a blade ever turns and a platform is ever anchored to the sea floor, an onshore connection point needs to be completed. The project is designed to generate an impressive 800 megawatts of power making it one of the largest offshore wind farms in the United States. Vineyard Wind is America's first utility-scale offshore wind farm. So we are building 62 turbines out in the ocean where the power will then interconnect into Cape Cod and the grid here at the substation that we're building and will deliver enough clean renewable energy for about 400,000 homes in southeastern Massachusetts. Tucked away from the crashing waves, the substation stands as a nexus of innovation and efficiency. Here, sophisticated transformers hum with purpose, converting the raw electricity that will be generated by the wind turbines to a controlled flow, ready to power homes and businesses. With an eye for detail, the NECA IBEW Powering America team orchestrate this intricate symphony. Their expertise ensures that the energy flows seamlessly, efficiently, and safely. The substation from the Vineyard Wind Project, it's about a six acre site. The offshore power comes in what they call imports, and they're gonna hit the south side of the site. There's redundant lines, line one and line two. Comes in 220,000 volts, and then it steps down to a series of transformers into a 115,000 volt yard, and then it goes to the exports, which will go into the substation. Which will transfer it over to Eversource's yard, and then put out on the grid. A lot of the work is just for electricians in the ground, but all the overhead stuff was pretty much lineman's work. Our crew was composite with their crew, helping them do their job. We've been under construction here in Barnstable for just about two years now, and we are actually nearing completion of this part of the project. It's really important that we have the substation and um, the power connection ready to go before we install all of the offshore assets so that we can start creating energy and selling it into the grid and to the consumers as soon as we've got those offshore assets ready. Embarking on a pioneering endeavor of this magnitude comes with its own set of challenges. However, standing at the forefront of these challenges are NECA contractor Fishback and more, and the electrical workers of IBEW Local 223. The responsibility that I have here and we have as a local is huge. What we do here will have ripple effect across the country for every other local that's doing an offshore wind project all the way through. It's an undertaking that we take seriously, that we want to make sure we build a relationship with whatever developer does an offshore wind project, where they understand that we have a workforce that is ready and willing to do this type of work. It's a new industry. It's not new work but it's a, it's a different environment. It's, it's very dynamic. And the type of work is, uh, is not for everybody. They're gonna be working out there shifts three weeks at a, in a time, you know, living out at sea. High winds, high seas, hurricanes that come through, cold days, really hot days out at sea. So the lifestyle and that type of work is not necessarily for everyone. Weather was tough until this building was put up Everything is outside. Rain, snow, it didn't, we didn't cancel days. We come in, you put on rain gear, and you tough it out. It's just the way it is. The Vineyard Wind Project is not just about turbines and technology. It's about coexisting with nature, harnessing its endless power, and preserving the delicate balance that this area has held for generations. Renewable source of energy is going to be very important for our children, <laughs> for this planet going forward, right? There's not really too much of an argument about that. This project is incredibly special to all of us that have had a piece in being able to work on it and advance it towards completion. We're really proud of the precedent that we're setting for partnering with union labor and delivering local union jobs. We're really proud of that. From the coast of Massachusetts, you're watching ETV. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.